In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the T-connector in isometric. This is in Chapter 7. This will be the first isometric drawing that you do. As you can see, I've already done Step 1, which is to open the Daily Work prototype. Step 2 tells me to save it into my home directory, so I'll do a file, Save As, put it into your home directory, 1405 folder, and we'll call this the T-connector. All right, so step three tells me to set my units to decimal, so I'll type in the word units, and they are already set to decimal, and then it wants me to set my drawing limits to have a 24 by 18 limit to it. So you can see the grid here is smaller. I'll type in the word limits, and lower left corner will always be 0, 0. Upper right corner is going to be 24, 18. You know you've done this correctly when this grid takes up the full size of your border. So that was step three. Step four is to set AutoCAD snap tight to isometric snap and set the grid and snap tab or in the grid and snap tab of the drawing settings. So I'm going to right click on the word grid down here and go to settings. Grid and Snap are together in the Settings uh, tab. And what I'm going to do is under Snap Type, right in here, I'm going to change this to Isometric Snap from Rectangular Snap. I'll say OK to that. And you can see my cursor change. So instead of having a vertical and a horizontal line to my, my cursor, I've actually got um, a vertical and an angled line. If I press F5, you can see there are three different ways that my cursor can appear. So the crosshairs can be uh, two different angles, 150 degrees and 30 degrees. It can be vertical with a 30 degree, or it can be vertical with 150 degree. So five different ways. You can be in the middle of a command and just press F5, and that'll change the orientation of your cursor. Another step that we want to do is the last part here tells us to turn your ortho on. It is very important to leave your ortho on when you're doing isometric. At no point should you turn off your, your ortho when you're doing isometric drawings. All right, so now we're going to actually draw the T-connector itself. So it says to draw horizontal and vertical isometric lines shown in the figure. We're going to start off by doing um, the first line, we're going to make a little T in the middle. So I'm going to start the line command. I'll just start it in the middle of this guy. It doesn't really have a specific start point. But what's nice about having the ortho on is that I'm, I, I'm definitely going to be drawing this at a 30 degree angle here. So my distance needs to be set to 5. And then I'm going to draw another line straight from the midpoint. So halfway through that 5, we're going to draw another line down at a distance of 3. So that's the first step of this T. The next thing I need to do is to draw the ISO circles. And the ISO circles, there's two different. They're concentric, but I've got one that's a diameter of one and one that's a radius of one. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to do the ellipse command. And then you have to type I for ISO circle. Don't forget that step. Now I can snap to the endpoint here. And remember, F5 takes you between ISO top ISO right and ISO left. So just keep tabbing until you find the right one. So we're going to go with this one. And it's asking me for the radius. And the radius of the first one is going to be a radius of 1. I'm going to start that command again. It's the ellipse, I for ISO circle, same center point. And this time I've got D enter for diameter. This one has a diameter of 1. Now that I've got that taken care of, I'm just going to use the copy command. You could redraw those circles if you wanted to, but they're all the same size and they're both, they're all going to be the same concentric circles. So I'm just going to take these two circles and just copy them to where I need them. And I've got this right here. Now the next step is to go ahead and draw the lines. We need lines that are going to go from the top tangencies, but um, I'll show you a little trick here that I do. There's a couple of ways that you can handle this. The offset command does not work when you're doing isometrics, which is unfortunate because the offset command is super cool, but we're going to have to do just copy. So I will take this copy, I'll copy, select that line. I'm going to copy up, just pull it in the up direction, and you're going to type in a distance. If this was a radius of 1, then we'll just copy up a distance of 1. We're going to copy and just pull it down a distance of 1. And we can do the same here. I'm going to copy this line over a distance of 1. 
and over a distance of 1. And now I've got all of these guys drawn. The book shows you to do it a little bit differently um, when you're doing this bottom one. It actually wants you to draw a line coming straight over a distance of 1. And then you can snap to the end point of that line. But for me, that's just an extra step, and you're going to have to delete out that line anyway. So you can do it however you feel comfortable with. I like to do just the copy command. It's a little bit cleaner that way. So I don't need this T in the center anymore, and I can actually go in and trim out what I don't need. So I'm going to use my trim command, press enter, and I don't need these parts right through here. I would trim off these guys, but I'm going to go ahead and extend them up because I still have to do this top part, and these are exactly where that top part need to be. So I'm going to use my extend command, press enter so it extends to the next thing it sees, and I'll extend those guys up. And I'll come back and trim out these parts later when I'm done doing this top angle up here. Now that I've got this taken care of, I want to draw that top part with the angle. I'm going to draw it off to the side in a, an orthogonal view, just so that um, I can figure out what the distance is. So I'm going to come over here, right click on grid, and go to settings, and I'm going to put it back to my rectangular snap, so I'm not in isometric anymore. And I'm going to draw the line here. So I'm going to draw a line. It's uh, going to come over a distance of 2, up a distance of 2, and then we're going to draw a line and we need to make it a distance of an angle of uh, 37 degrees. So it can be any length at 37 degrees, but notice this is coming the wrong direction. So I'll just use my move command or you could actually extend it backwards if you wanted to. And then this just comes up and intersects wherever it connects. The whole reason that I'm drawing this out is because nowhere in this drawing do I have the length of this line. So I needed the length of that line. I'm going to do, now that I've got it, I'm just going to do the move command. I'm going to move this line over here. I'm going to move this line over here. I don't really need these guys anymore, and I'm just going to connect the dots. So I'll just draw a line from here to here, and that is whatever angle it ends up being. I don't even know what the angle is. Now I can come and actually trim out the rest of the lines that I don't need. I don't need this, this, or this. Perfect. So I've got the basic shape going on right now. The next thing I need to do are the fillets. So each one of these corners have a little fillet to it. The fillet command does not work in isometric, unfortunately. So what I'm going to have to do is actually draw little iso circles in here, but I have to find the center points to those iso circles. So I'm going to copy these lines out to get the center. I'll draw an iso circle, and then I'm going to erase or trim everything else that I don't need. So I'm left with the little fillets in the corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is the copy command. I'll copy these two guys. Oop, need to put myself back in ortho. Right click. Get back into isometric. I said that wrong. I'm going to do the copy command. There we go. Copy them straight over. I've got a distance. Let's see, that fillet is a 0.38. And I'm just copying both lines at the same time because I'm going to have to do all corners, so it's just easier to do this. 0.38. Point three eight, and then I'll copy this one down, point three eight again. So now I've got the centers of all my isocircles. I'll come in here to the ellipse command, I for isocircle. The center will be here, and I can either type in the radius of point three eight, or I could just snap to the end. I'll just type in a radius of point three eight, and it's perfect. I could either keep drawing isocircles, or just copy the one that I've got. Be sure and use the center point as your base point, if you do the copy command. Perfect. I don't even need these lines anymore. I can go erase those out. And I'm going to use my trim command now. So trim, press enter, trim out this and the square corner. Perfect. All right, it looks good. So I've got the front of this. This thing actually has some depth to it, though. So what we're going to do next is use the copy command. And I'm just going to copy this back um, to give it depth. 
Now the book actually shows you the different lines that you can use for the copy command. You can either select it all and just erase out what you don't need or you can use the ones that the book shows you. There's no reason to copy the inner circles though. I think that's pretty much it. That should do it. Those are all the lines that I need to copy back. Select anywhere as a base point and I need it to go back this direction. So this is where I need to press F5 so that I'm allowed to go back this direction at that 150 degree angle. Now the distance I need to set back is one inch. Perfect. And oh, I forgot to make this little guy a part of it. There we go. Now I'm just going to draw a line and kind of connect the dots here. So a line from here to here, a line from here to here, from quadrant to quadrant, quadrant to quadrant, quadrant to quadrant. And now I'm almost done. I just need to come in here and trim out what I don't need. So trim, enter. I'll just keep trimming until I get it to look right. Perfect. So that's it. I've just done the T-connector and that is it for this video. Thank you.